Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome back to Super Hostile Vexylvania Developer Commentary. This should be the final episode. So, uh, I went in and, uh, did some stuff at my base to fix my kit, prepare my inventory. Um, as I was at the Waystone, I went back. Uh, so we have a full set of at least epic uh, dragon scale stuff. Um, the chess piece is unique. Um, then I threw some enchantments on the other ones until I got what I wanted. Ish. It only has to last for this final area. And I do have the backup golden armor here. Uh, ready to go when any piece breaks. Uh, I am in the... Uh, I am the tankiest setup I can come up with. I realize that the Miner's Best Friend is actually better than I uh, remember it. It might... Maybe too good. Nah, I don't know. Uh, it is It is really good, although to be fair, it is... Uh, you know, it's five Astral Diamonds. Um, now let's see here. Speaking of Astral Diamonds, the last thing I wanted to do was... I had 41 of them, and maybe I should go after some... Some stuff. Uh, is there anything I could improve in my kit? Uh, my waste bobble, the the balloon is kind of eh. I suppose I could spin diamonds trying to re-roll this balloon. Hmm. Or it's a it's a girdle slot, right? Let's see. Um, we want astral warrior, I believe. And that can give us a Girdle of the Night, which buffs our attack damage, magic shielding, HP, resistance. It makes us really tanky. Um, we could also go for... Hmm. Oh, wow, the Ring of Unyielding Rage. Cut your HP in half. You just, but you just deal all of the, all of the melee damage, and you're really tanky too, despite losing your HP. It makes your remaining HP more effective. Uh, alternatively, is there anything I would want from? This is a charm. That's specifically a charm. I don't know. I think I might be better off just. I may actually be off just be back. Be better off just rerolling it. The balloon, that is. Because I actually do quite like the jump boost. It's been... The jump boost has been very nice, and... Uh, I f I'm fairly happy with what I have here. All right, let's try, let's try to re-roll this from Uncommon. Oh! There! I cannot have asked for a better roll. That is perfect. Look at that. Alright. Wow, that is very lucky. Uh, so, some good luck coming my way. Um... Everything else is unique quality. I'm not using a shield because this is a two-hander. Uh, I suppose I should spin my Astral Diamonds on something. What else could I use? Hmm. Spell on Caves 2. Uh, <laughs> do I want a Vexylvania Loot Crate? That doesn't make much sense, does it? A Mage Loot Crate... Hmm. I think I'm fairly well geared. And I don't want to reroll anything else because I have a bunch of uh, unique gear that I've gotten from the map. Uh. Yeah, that's already legendary armor. You know what, actually? This is a Ring of Grand Vitality, and this is a Alanin's Ring. I'm not really making any use of the healing effect, as far as I can tell. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, I'm not making use of that effect at all, so what ring would I want out of a loot crate? Is there a astral mage ring that I could maybe have? There's the ring of grand vitality, yeah. And then there's a ring of the archmage. Oh. Ooh. 
You know what? I would take a Grand Vitality or a Archmage Ring or a Ring of Evocation. Um, I, yeah, yeah, I I would go for all of those. Okay, let's just do it then. Um, Astral Mage Loot Crate, and we're going for the ring. All right, wish me luck. Got the Charm of Mana. Uh, we got the Battle Mage Helmet. Well, we did not get the ring. What uh, rolls do we get here? Uh, unique. Oh, this is a belt. Ooh. Hmm. Dang. I've really set myself up to be using the Mabling Sword. Uh, I'm going to keep this on me. In case I want to snipe for a bit. Oh, we got another Amulet of the Ninja. That's pretty cool. We got two of those. Alright, well, let's just drop these off. And I'll just keep that on me in case I want to swap my belt out. Oh, I should have re-rolled my Ring of Greater Mana. Huh. And I used, uh... For... Oh. Oh. Damn. I'm a derp. Oh well. Okay, whatever. I did that... I did not do that perfectly. It's fine. Let's go, uh... Let's go win the map. We are... We are very big chungus right now. Uh, and this one now has oak flesh. I wish it lasted longer. That's okay. Is it ancient spawn? Alrighty. Hi guys. Vex here. I'm here to win the map. We chill? Oh, something's not chill with me. That's okay. Now let's get in here. Something is shooting at me. Hi, guys. You almost made me hit the pig. Not that the pigs would pose that much of a threat to me, but I think... Oh, hello. They would just be annoying. I suppose I could just grapple through here, huh? Is there a secret in here? There's a you. No secret? No secret. Uh, this is all obsidian, so you could simply dig out any kind of, uh... Uh, you could dig out any kind of area for a, uh, portal, and just drop a portal down. Or just accidentally light a portal. I'll be right with you guys. Alright, we're fighting the pigs now. Yeah, see, I really like the, uh, the balloon. That jump boost is great. Part of me wants to just run by all you guys. It's so thick through here. Oh, damn. Okay. Let's, uh, take a second and clear this, because... 
I don't want a bunch of crap at my back. Oh, he's coming over here too. Uh, can I go ahead and blind him? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, he's lunging. Oh, he's charging. Uh, let's, uh... Grapple up and over? Yeah, hi. Can I trick you into just coming over here and letting me go this way? Oh, you dumbass. Yes, I can. I can do exactly that. Tee hee. Well, at least I'm smarter than a cyclops. Whoa. <laughs> Watch him, like, reset and just reset his position and warp right back on top of me. I would freaking deserve <laughs> I would deserve that so much after mocking him. Well, we've outsmarted the stupid Cyclops. Okay. Confirmed. How are we doing up here? Hi, dude. Mercifully, there are some walls. Uh, how's the armor doing? Armor's fine. Sweet. Uh, let's see. There's caffeine-free vampire berry zero. Right, and... Looking good. An old town. I cannot recall the name or some of the other details. It's kind of a desolate place. Well, hey. There's iron ore. You know, in case you need needed needed iron. It does make me really sad. That's a lot of Baphomets. Those weren't. Those are not randoms. Those are. Uh, that was definitely a set spawn. Can I sneak in the window? Well, I could, but it's still rather crowded in here. Okay, fine. You guys don't want me in there, and you know what? I, I don't want to be in there. You can have your town center. They're, they've got their town center garrisoned. You know, I think... Can I just ignore the Baphomets completely, since I'm fire immune? Because they only switch to melee... Yeah, you only switch to melee once you drop below a certain amount of HP. So if I don't hurt you, you will just shoot fire at me, won't you? Well then, that makes you so much easier to deal with. So all I have to actually worry about are the uh, succubi. I think it's a little late for these objects now, at this point of the map. Do not lament for me. Oh, yeah, I was I was definitely lamenting for you. I was like, man, this is kind of sad. Because it is, right? Like, he's trapped in his own personal hell. Do not lament for me. Thou may thinkest this realm a sad place. And that is true. This is a place of remorse and melancholy. But I seekest out adventurers like thee, and thou keepest me well entertained. Ha! Now come, I wish to cross swords with thee. Yeah. I think... Right here, I like to think that it's a fair question to ask. Hain, are you trying to convince me? Or are you trying to convince yourself that everything's okay, you know? No gimmick shall befuddle thee. Straight into the main hall. I await. No gimmicks. Well, okay. There are there are a small amount of gas to deal with. Luckily, I have a spread shot crossbow. Oh my gosh, this is so effective against them. Can I sh get like two with one shot here? Not for lack of trying. 
Yes! Oh, it's so satisfying when you get multiple with one shot. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, you're actually... I have to pay attention to you. You, you actually are a blighted melee guy. So this, uh, oh, she keeps putting slowness on me, I see. When do you switch to melee? What percent? Is it half? No, it's a little above half, isn't it? Uh, so this castle was a build on uh, the the Delania, uh, the server, and uh, by Carthaxis, and uh, Carthaxis wanted the build to live on, and I was like, hey, you want me to use it as like this is awesome looking, this would make such a good dungeon for a map. Uh, shall I immortalize it as a dungeon? Because uh, he built this really big, cool gothic castle. He spent a ton of time on it. And I was like, this... Uh, all servers eventually reset. Um, and for Minecraft, there's practical reasons of... Uh, well, I mean, people lose interest. But also, there's practical reasons of, like... Uh, Getting, f uh, I'm trying to find the right word. Like getting full is not the right word, but uh, um, data richness, especially modded. Uh, you get people's warehouses, get full of stuff, and as you walk through the server, the chunks are very data rich. Um. So you'll have one person, like, build something and, like, grind out the game and have, like, in-game gear. And then they don't play as much and their base just kind of sits there. And you have that happen a bunch of times and you have a bunch of bases and people's land claims. Uh, and you can't keep expanding the server forever because, like, modded is even more data-rich than vanilla. Although you can't really do that in vanilla either. Um, not without paying more and more money for a progressively beefier server to handle your huge world. Uh, so there's like practical limitations. Uh, I had other limitations. I had uh, issues with like um, uh, another ticking clock that's on uh, on servers is the mineshaft.dat file, which I cannot believe that bug was not fixed for so long. Still not fixed, actually. And I'm I'm fairly disappointed in, in Microsoft now for not like releasing a, a patch for 112 of my of the game because they know so many people play modded 112. Just a small patch that just fixes the mineshaft.dat bug. Uh, what is it you may ask? Well, it is. Uh, I'm also thrilled that there's like not a bajillion monsters after me right now, so I can think for a sec. Uh, arrow that way. Yes, we will go that way in a second. So it's a. It's a file that the server makes to keep track of data for the mineshafts. Like, it tells the game where in the world a mineshaft is. For Honestly, no reason that I can, I can exactly figure, except for maybe achievements. Uh, 
Because there's there's a there isn't any special mineshaft block. Like it's all normal blocks and stuff. It and as I, as as far as I can tell, there's there isn't exactly a special event that happens. Like it's not like a mineshaft biome. You know what I mean? Where the spawns change. It's like yeah, there's stuff you can find in a mineshaft, but once it's generated, why does the what like? I don't, I don't quite understand why Minecraft needs Mineshaft.dat at all. So, the problem with the file is that it uh, it's written very poorly and balloons in size. And uh, it will... It, it's basically, if you run a 1.12 server for Minecraft... It's it is a ticking time bomb that will not if will uh kill your server. Um if you keep your server running long enough, uh the mineshaft.dat file will keep steadily getting bigger. I guess if you don't explore the world and use a fixed world border that might fix it. Right? Um but in the if you play normally, uh that file will keep getting bigger. And Minecraft, it's written really inefficiently. Like, it's terribly written. Um, it balloons and, uh, like, a, it takes up a huge amount of RAM for just no discernible reason. And uh, basically, if you run a 112 server, like, every month or two, you should delete mineshaft.dat out of the world folder. Uh, and when you delete it, guess what? There's no problems. Minecraft doesn't need it. It just does it. It just it just does. It's not like as far as I can tell, it does nothing beneficial. Uh, leave a comment if if it actually does something beneficial, because I I really cannot tell like what it's supposed to be doing, other than other than ruining your server. Like that's all it to me. That's all it does. It ruins your server. Anyway, um, so there's an example of something. Um, the team data. Uh, there's several, uh, there's several types of things, types of data that will be stored on a server, uh, that aren't stored very well. Uh, one problem I was having was, uh, man, this place looks cool. Carthaxis, if you're watching this, you did such a good job building this, man. Uh, uh, team data, uh, mineshaft dot that. Uh, oh, Lord General Corvus Hain. Here's the guy himself. All right, let's buff up some more. Pop everything off. Now I've got. I could pop an. Ooh, I should have a notch up on my bar. Um, got strength. Um, my supplies. Iron skin. Iron. Ooh, iron skin two. Yes. Ekin. All right. Oh, we are big chungus. All right, let's do this. So yeah, that that's the stuff on the server. Um, you have to just address all of it, and if you leave it, it will eventually destroy your server. Uh, thou hast arrived, let us battle. Art thou fillest with thine determination. Amazing. Was there a sign over here? No. Okay. Um, I intentionally filled this area with lots of half slabs, so to cut down on natural spawns. So after slogging your way through the nether, the spawns in here would be, for the most part, what I had set. There's the big man himself. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's rock. Let's start with your ads.
Maybe I should have brought a shield. Oh, there, there's, there's the. Oh boy. Okay, yeah. Hi, Corvus. Ow. Now what? Let's put down a radiant totem, and you're gonna bounce me up here. Okay, cool. Well, I'm in the. Oh. You know what? No, I'm fighting you legit. I will take a, t a moment to pop my eat the scold apple. All right. I'm gonna shoot my cool ice move at you. I I wanted to try out what this does. It's ice. Uh. Oh, it freezes them all. That is really cool. Holy crap. That is so many dudes. We need more totems. That'll clear out these ads. Pretty good, I think. How's the armor? Armor's fine. Oh god! Maybe there's too many guys in here. I don't know, though. Players get... We're gonna go for Hain. Come here, you. Urgh! Got you! <laughs> yes, thank you! They actually kind of helped me there. Woo! Better grapple up. You guys are scary! That is an absolute nightmare mob. It looked like something, uh, it looked like Corvus himself was fighting something. I couldn't quite tell. Hmm. Well, Corvus, despite your massive skeleton army, I beat you and them. Although you did, I did almost die though. That was a good try. Uh, you shred. I'm glad I bought the good armor. I think, I think if I hadn't had the good armor, I would have died there. Uh, and the buffs too. I, ooh, I needed, I needed like all the buffs and stuff that I had. That was a good call. Okay. This ice charge move is so cool. I think I just hit myself with it. Yeah, I just hit myself with my own ice charge. I'm such a dumbass. <laughs> Alright, so the big mob handled with some crowd control magic. The big boss uh, whacked with the sword. Uh, yeah, I think that's a pretty good way of doing things. Um, if I'd have worked for a, uh, using a great, I wish I kept, hmm. Maybe instead of using a Maybelline sword, I should have tried to make my own, uh, great sword with a sweeping attack and ground it up really high, because a sweeping attack would have been pretty great here, too. Uh... Oh, there's more. a really good combo. The ice charge uh, slows them and keeps them from mobbing you. That's that's a good combo. I like that combo. Ugh. Don't want nothing to do with that. And it's the end of the map, so here's a bu here's a bunch of astral diamonds, right? Because it's the end.
Thank you. By Corvusane. If thou art reading this, then thou hast bested me. I hope our battle was glorious. Yes, it was definitely glorious. It was an absolute clusterfuck. My only regret, regret is that you kind of got stuck in like a crater or something, but I was able to I was able to beat you by meleeing you like a man. I did not I did not drop a totem on you and then hide up in the ceiling. I did that for your minions, but for you, I, I got you with the sword. Now, uh, I hope our battle was glorious, something for the bards to write about for centuries to come. Yes, it was a good battle. Know that if thou hadst grabbed this and left me alive using some trickery, then thou hast made me sad. Aww. But hopefully my signs instilled in thou a great fighting spirit, and thou slewest me with vigor and spirit. It shall take years in your time for me to reform, so I must write this for you. I thank you for our battle, and I hope thou dost go forth as dauntlessly in other areas of thine life as thou did in our battle. If thou does this thing, I tell you, and attacketh the other sins of the day with the vigor thou attackest me, then thou shalt make thine lord well pleased with thee. But now thou must leave this realm, for this realm is not for thine kind to dwell in. As for me, I have plans for the future, and maybe thou knowest of them already, if thou hast found all my messages. I bid thee good fortune. Farewell. What an absolute bro. I I love this character so much. He should be he should be in every map. So I'm gonna take a, a minute to just you know what? Let's go game mode SP. Uh, let's take a minute to fly around the map. Uh, so here's the map. Here's the, I mean, the castle. And uh, it is it is kind of a shell. Uh, never it never got fully finished. Uh, the outside got finished, but like the inside interior decoration, um, didn't quite get finished. But that's okay because what it really is is a giant boss arena, right? Yeah, look what happened here. What happened here? Like something got blown up right here cuz this is this is just normal floor. So, something something crazy happened. I I'm not exactly sure what. Uh Yeah, this castle looks awesome. And I don't think there's any I don't think there's any loot around here. I mean, I don't think I, I don't think I would have put any. Would I? Would I have put something up at the up here? Nah. It's just lit up. It's mostly uh it's mostly decorative for appearance. Um Because why would there be hidden loot in the final boss arena? Like the map is kinda done. But anyway. Uh yeah. So cool looking medieval gothic castle. Uh this effect clear? Can I get this? Okay. We have this, like, glitched frost effect on me. Whoops. Um... Can I... Can I just quit and rejoin? Does that fix this? Does that, does that do it? Yes. Yes. Yes, that does it. Okay, fixed. Cool. Um... So yeah, cool castle. Looks awesome. Thank you, Carthaxis. Um, and uh, probably one of the cooler boss arenas in a super hostile map. Alrighty, uh, so that's the brown wool. We have but one formality left. And that will be to uh, game mode S. Boop. Uh, thank you, Car uh, thank you, Corvus Hain, for the awesome boss fight. And we're going to mirror out of here.
Huh. Well, that's interesting. I wonder why the grain crashed. You didn't just want to send me back to the... You, sorry, you send me back to the spawn platform. All right. Whatever. Minecraft is a derp. So, most of my armor made it. Uh, the dragon scale, that is, that I built. Except for... Ah! Wow. Really? Am I that terrible? I'm pretty terrible at this game sometimes. It's a wonder I can beat my own maps. Uh. Alright, we got the brown wool. Wait a minute. No, that's, that's a brown bed. I don't want that. I want the brown wool. Yas! Boom. And with that, Super Hostile Vexylvania has been beaten. Um. Cool. I think, what was that? That was one, two, three, four... Uh, I want to say, like, five deaths? Eh? Like, five? Maybe five deaths? Um. I died once, twice, three times, four times. Five. Yeah, once I got established, uh... Once I got once I got established, I I only died once to uh, a blighted dampier in the in the throne of Exylvania, I died to a blighted dampier alongside a blighted bone knight, and they kept up with me while my magic was scrambled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I basically I really died to like magic being scrambled, um, which was unfortunate. So, uh, I think in most cases when I died, I had the ability to either not fat finger my, my hot bar and react faster and live, or have used the things I had access to. I, I don't think I died any unfair BS deaths, ex getting my, getting my wands scrambled and then getting run down by a blighted dampier, that's pretty. That's pretty bad luck. Uh, but I could have, you know, a dampier is doesn't have any different attack pattern to just a zombie. So you know, I, I could have just, I could have just done done one of these. I could have just, I could have just done that. So, but I didn't think about it. <clears throat> When you have a bunch of cool, flashy stuff, sometimes sometimes the classic, simple techniques, uh, you forget about them. But you do so at your peril, which I demonstrated, I think. Um, cool. Hello, you. Nice. I still don't need any of your stuff, but your presence is very welcome. Um... So, right, uh, yeah, the last thing I gotta do. Hey, Anastasia, there's this guy. His name is, uh, Corvus Hain. I think you ought to try meeting him. Until next time, as always, take it easy.